You may have heard about having a deviated septum. You may have been told that by your doctor in your primary care office at some point in your lifetime. So what is a deviated septum? The septum is the middle part of the nose. It's composed of cartilage in the front and then bone in the back and bone on the bottom. And what happens is that as the nose grows on the outside, sometimes the septum, as it continues to grow in the external nose, comes to a stop or to its normal position, typically to about 16 in females and 18 in males. The septum will continue to deflect and grow to one side or another, causing a deviation. So that means that instead of being straight, the septum has a spur off to the left or right side. And this can be seen in the office uh, by exam of your nose. So what are the symptoms of this? Well, you may have obstruction in your nose only on one side. You can have crusting or bleeding in your nose sometimes because the lining of the mucosa on the septum will dry out because of more airflow on that side. So what can be done about having difficulty breathing your nose with deviated septum? This can be surgically corrected in the operating room by making an incision inside the nose to raise up the lining of mucosa overlying the cartilage and bone, removing the portions that are crooked, sometimes replacing them in a more straightened fashion, sometimes removing all together, and then uh, sewing this all back down together. This does take some time to recover from, with up to a week, and you may have a plastic or rubbery type splint in the nose from two to seven days to help this to heal. There, you may have other procedures to address other areas of the nose that have trouble breathing, such as the turbinates on the side of the nose that swell up can be shrunk, or your nasal valve, where the septum and the lateral portion of the nose, the valve of the nose come together, may be corrected if that's time.